over to our correspondent, reporting from the town of Soggy Bottom. Thank you. I'm here because we've heard reports that a depression is expected to hit this town over the next few hours. It's two weeks since they had the last storm here and everyone is busy preparing for the next one. These girls are worried their football match tomorrow will be cancelled. These children have been telling me that they're really hoping for some good thunder and lightning and a group of parents have hurried home to try and get the washing dry before the rain starts. At the moment, all I can see is some wispy clouds high up in the sky and there's a halo around the sun. With me, I've got Professor Gail Force, storm expert from the weather station. These cirrus clouds are a good indication that a depression is approaching. The warm front is high above our heads and the clouds are on the front. We're in polar maritime air. It's a few hours later. Solid, featureless grey sheets of cloud fill the sky. As the depression moves towards us from the west, the warm front is slowly getting lower. These clouds are stratus. Stratus means sheet. Now the sky is covered in low, dark cloud. It's been raining for the last hour. It's quite heavy now. What's happening, Professor Force? We're in the warm front now. It's about 10 kilometers wide. To our right is warmer tropical maritime air, which is pushing into and over the colder polar maritime air to our left. Nimbostratus cloud is forming in the rising warm air. The weather cleared up about half an hour ago. It's still a bit drizzly, but the rain isn't anywhere near as heavy as it was. Some of the residents of Soggy Bottom have ventured out and about. One local lady has brought us a very welcome cup of tea. She thinks it's all over. Is she right? No, the worst is yet to come. We're in the warm sector, in tropical maritime air. The cold front will be along in a couple of hours. And now the weather is truly appalling. The rain has been lashing down for the last 30 minutes. We've had thunder and lightning and my umbrella has collapsed. How long will it last, Professor Force? About another hour. The cold front is above us now. The warmer air is moving off to our left and colder air is pushing in from our right, forcing the air up from underneath. Towering thunderclouds, cumulonimbus, have formed in the rising air. We're lucky we haven't had any hail yet. Sometimes we even see tornadoes forming on cold fronts in the UK. It's getting dark now and I'm glad to say the rain has stopped and the sky has cleared. We've just seen a spectacular sunset. Was that the end of the storm? It was indeed. The depression has moved off towards the North Sea and we are in the polar maritime air behind it. There might be an odd shower here in Soggy Bottom tomorrow but not anything like as bad as the weather we've just experienced. Depressions like this bring our normal bad weather, as well as the worst of the wind and flooding that we associate with winter storms. Thank you, Professor Force. Let's go home and get dry. 